Hello book nerds, welcome to Bookshelf Bunny, I'm Kim and this is my monthly bookish life vlog. Welcome to June.
Hey guys, so for today I decided that since July is just around the corner, I am going to work on tidying up my planner. I'm going to get my planner ready to go for the next month. Um, I use an Erin Condren life planner and it was a gift from an amazing co-worker co and friend, Diamond, over at A Little Geek, A Little Chic. And I love it. I'll probably buy a new one next year. <laughs> I used to get the Happy Planners from like Michaels and those were great. And last year I tried just straight bullet journaling and that was helpful. I like that it's modular. But this year I'm doing kind of a, a hybrid. I'm doing my day planner, and my life planner, and a bullet journal combo. The life planner holds all of my information for dates and events and what week by week is gonna look like and what I need to do. And my bullet journal holds random miscellaneous thoughts as they come into my head and they hold, or it holds um, specific project plans and I'm really enjoying this kind of hybrid method. <laughs> I'm an obsessive planner. So today I'm gonna make it pretty. I'll show you some of my supplies that I like to use and I'm just gonna do that, yes. And as for the books that I read this month, these are the books that I have read. And I had to pick, I'm gonna pick um, three that I really liked. That's always tough to do. So looking through the books that I read, I think I'm gonna choose my top three as Dear Fahrenheit 451, Love and Heartbreak in the Stacks. This book was a uh, kind of like a memoir. It follows a librarian as she writes letters to specific books that have impacted her life, whether she loved them or hated them or just found them mediocre, she pours out her feelings in these letters to these books. I really enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, she also gave some great recommendations for books to read. In fact, one of the books I read this month, The Virgin Suicides, came as a recommendation from her. Um, that would be thir third book, the third book. The next book that I read that would fill my top three slot. I'm gonna say The Bookish Life of Nina Hill. It was really cute. I identified with Nina in a lot of ways. I am socially awkward and introverted and I like to read and I also enjoy my alone time. Uh, so yeah, I liked that. That was fun. It was a nice sneak peek into an introverted book nerd's life <laughs> with some unique circumstances because fiction. Um, the last book that I'm going to add to my top three is one I just finished, which is a movie making nerd. It follows, uh, it's an autobiography by James Rolfe, the creator of Cinemassacre. Um, you probably know him most from the angry video game nerd. He is one of my all time favorite YouTubers. And I really enjoyed his story. He's a creative, I'm a creative, and I just really meshed with um, his life story, his, uh, even from the very beginning as a little kid playing make-believe with his friends and having vivid dreams and just being filled with stories that he wanted to share. He shared them with make-believe. I shared mine with make-believe. And then he moved on to filming his stories, whereas I deviated and I write. <laughs> um, I also really like that he's a metalhead. I'm also a metalhead. I love my metal and my rock. But I'm also super mellow and bubbly and people are often very surprised when they learn my taste in music and listening to James describe why metal speaks to him. I was like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it was fun. It was a great read. Um, and it, it leaves you feeling very inspired and encouraged to pursue your passion projects, to pursue your art, whatever that might be. So thoroughly enjoyed that one. Those are my top three, but then I had an honorable mention. I read The Threat Below, and this is a YA book. I really enjoyed it. The characters were phenomenal. I loved the development of our protagonist. Her thought processes and attitudes, they shift and change and flow kind of like a real person's would as the story goes, and I just really liked her. 
Then of course the premise was fun. <laughs> there are monsters down below the mountain that people fled 300 years ago and the last and they're the last uh, surviving remnant of humanity living on top of this mountain until they have an issue with their water supply and have to venture down to see the threat below. That is really good. I enjoyed that one. Those are my books that I read. All right, I'm gonna get to my planner and I'm going to go through that with you.
All right, book nerds, that's it for me. That was my month. It was low key, relaxing, a couple sad things. Um, but all in all, it was a good month. I'd love to hear from you guys. Have you read any of the books that I read this month? And if so, what were your thoughts? All right, as always, happy reading. <laughs>